Anyways. I'm not, I may not be sitting in the hot seat no more, but uh, I still got control of your buttons. You're so good at pushing my buttons. <laughs> Let me tell you. I feel like we need to reintroduce you. Yeah. Who is this gentleman for the ones that don't have video? My name is Captain Kleeman. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> My name's First Skipper Kleeman. You're the uh, you're the other half of the. You know, somebody gave me a statistic the other day of the percentage of podcast you're in on, on your own podcast channel versus the percentage of podcast you're not in on your own podcast channel. What's the, what's the percent? You're under fifty percent. That's not true. <laughs> it's not even close. I'm just going off the statistics. You got to believe the comments, right? Yeah. The comments. Yes. The comments are never wrong. Oh, well, debatable. All right, we'll see. We'll make it to that eventually. So, all right, we got a whole new cast of characters here. We'll go around the table real quick before we get started. Yeah, sure. We'll let you go first. My name is Mike. Uh, they're perfect. <laughs> I'm having an identity crisis. Okay. <laughs> I'm Jason. I think. You are Jason. I'm Jason. Jason. Jason, Jason works a lot. I am the A few. I'm so. I'm so proud of you because you used to not want to reveal your real name. I know. <laughs> he used to be a Russian. I know. <laughs> but you can't do that now. It's a little hot over there. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad you changed fake nationalities? Yeah. <laughs> Dodge that fake, right? <laughs> well, I'd be a lot. Of, I'd be in the news a lot more. But not for the right reasons. Well, it's publicity either way. Someone famous said that once. For, no. I don't even want to know. So, all right, Mr. Works a lot. Is glad to have you back on the program. I am glad to have you. Glad to I'm see glad you back in Indiana. So yeah. here's the real question: Are you the host and I'm the co-host? That's the way it's supposed to work, right? But not if you ask the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't exist. I'm just glad to be back in the co-host seat. <laughs> I just sit Because there, there's if the audio sucks on this one, it's all Jason's. Fault. So I got kicked out of co-host thing now. <laughs> yeah, you're not. So you're okay. not. You're. You, you're <laughs> so, I'm at it, buddy. so my interim co-host is now just my, our guest. <laughs> our what? guest. What? Now, uh, I it know gets complicated. To, on this complicated. I know you wanted to make this like your channel and all, but do we all have to pretend that it's not summer right now? I'm sweating like crazy. Why are you? Uh, I'm kind of a little cold. I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm I comfortable. knew your shop would be cold. I'm just nervous, I guess. It's been a minute. I got I got a brand new HVAC in here. I got a new heat and AC. Is Really? Though? Yeah, global warming. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me laugh, it hurts. <laughs> well, we'll get to you in a minute. Which way are we going? Clockwise or We're going this way. We're going to our first guest over here. Yeah, Farmer is Chris our is here. Intern co-host. Yeah, 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 yep. <clears throat> Still trying to give it to him, but he won't take it. Uh, I guess I'm officially the co-host on this one. Uh, Dirt Perfect. And I, 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 you, I tried to be Dirt Perfect, and now you're talking to me like I'm Dirt Perfect. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> This is maybe this is why you're not on. No, yeah, probably. <laughs> I, I can see. All right, well, we got to get to our featured guest, the very famous, the person who legitimately is asked for in every comment and every. Email. Yeah, he's probably other than now that we've uh, now that we've done a podcast with Jerry, he's probably our next requested guy. I would say, arguably, he was tied with Jerry. Yeah, and this goes like I mean, over, since like episode two, and it was like, hey, who do you guys? Like, he's more on? requested than Matt from Diesel Creek or Let's Dig Eighteen or like the really famous guys. This guy is our most I need requested. You to remind him of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we call us. I did find him. Is like you're the seventh most. <laughs> you may have a bigger channel. I'm more requested on a no name podcast. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> the budget of one set of hit. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and no two mics the same. Yeah. <laughs> you may not have heard of these guys, but they're a big deal somewhere in somebody's club. Yeah. I promise you know. All I can tell you is we're very diverse here. I can see Cleveland out in Vegas introducing himself that hello, the most requested guest is here. <laughs> certain detail you know you don't have to like you know fulfill the rest of the questions so but anyways you are uh you've actually been doing youtube longer than me yeah, well, like i have technically yes YouTube longer you. yeah. yeah we'll get to that in a little bit yeah we can talk all right so captain cleman you are most notably on youtube you didn't let him introduce himself i thought i did he hasn't said three words. I've seen this podcast once. I know Mike does all the talking, and I just say, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gathering that much over here. <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. Yeah, this is really easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so you're most notably on YouTube. Sure. It's Captain Clayman. You're also pretty famous on TikTok. Well, kind of. But, yeah. Hey, speaking to... of TikTok, the oh. guy that came to pick up the uh, no-name piece of demo equipment that had to disappear for a while. Yes. 
he uh, pulled in. He was all styling in this big old Diamond C trailer. And uh, he's like, check these things out. He had speed binders. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. Where'd you see those at? He said, oh, this guy on TikTok had them. And at the same time, he pans over and sees a C8500, and you see his eyes get really big. And it dawned on him. It dawned on him. Did he connect the dots? He connected the dots, like, as he said it. And I'm like, oh, you must have seen captains. He's like, yeah. And he's like, he's like, you felt, you felt like he was, he, you could tell by his expression, he felt like he was in the twilight zone or something. You know? Are you on the Tic Tac, too? I am, a little bit. Kinda. Cleman's bigger than I am on TikTok. I would TikTok. very low brag say number one hashtag for speed on Instagram. Yeah. No kidding. But I'm not super excited about that. But it is a thing. Well, I mean, well, it would be super cool if it still had its previous ownership. If they had the previous ownership. That's a whole other conversation. So. Yeah, I'd like to get to that conversation. All right, later. Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. You're Captain Cleman, pretty much cool. everywhere, right? Yeah, except where I work. But yes. This is true. We'll get to that if you want to. But we got our stuff to cover. So. All right, Jeremy. Yes, yeah, so my name's uh, Shane, and uh, I am a part-time Chinese balloon mechanic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. I didn't realize he was going to get a whole lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just going to be like a name. I'll tell you what, I want to hire the guy. That thing has some sustainability. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thousand <laughs> rounds. I mean, I'm talking... She cleared the states. <laughs> I really have to work a couple hours this year. I mean, she even like clipped Canada. Like, and you know the most impressive part about your balloon? <laughs> it didn't even take the straight path. Like it took the yeah. damn scenic route. Yeah. Like, let's yeah. go. Let's check out the Rockies. Let's check out the Great Plains. What are they doing in Paducah? Well, let's go to the beach. Let's go to the beach. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed, Sailboat man. Fuel. <laughs> Sailboat fuel. Yeah. Made me think of a meme I saw the other day. It was like, you're the kind of person that would get hot on a hot air balloon ride and turn the heat down. They're green. They're green. Yeah, I mean, I'm impressed. So. Sure wouldn't be safe taking a hot air balloon ride right now. All right, so just to recap, Ryan, the hot air balloon pilot, he, or mechanic, uh, he's part-time. Part-time. Yeah. Works a lot, drug this guy in, yeah. hitchhiking on the road here. Yeah. So yeah. we just thought we'd... Yeah, he just floated on by. We thought we'd uh, include him. And then who we got last? I'm Dan. Dan, Dan sounds not near as excited as <laughs> he's not near as excited no, as Bob. This is as excited as it gets. But <laughs> yeah. It's just like this 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so you guys are not on social media. No. You just happen to know a few guys that are on social media. Yep. yep. And happen <laughs> and hap, happen to end up here mm -hmm. uh, randomly. So I apologize and welcome. Thank you. All the above. So all right, that's it. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right, episode over. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you glad you put all your dinner plans aside for this? <laughs> all right, so uh, we got to get back to our most requested guest, the man of the hour. Yes. Captain Cleman. Yes. So everybody wants to know, the, the most common questions I get, I don't know what questions you get, is uh, one, how do we start working together? And two, do you still work for me? I just noticed something. Not only does he speak for the guest, he speaks for everybody else. Too. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody wants to know. People, so I'll talk to people and they'll be like, is Mike really like that? I was like, you don't understand. Mike's been like that. <laughs> <laughs> in his head for 18 years. Yeah. He's been talking to millions for years now. Does Mike change when the camera's The only thing actually difference actually is people, people actually li listen now. You know, before, like, nobody would listen. <laughs> So, all right, I'm going to let Cleveland tell the story. I'm just going to correct him when he's wrong, so go. <laughs> what, what do you want? You want to know the first time we met? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you you going to go down this round? I think I've told this story before. you got to start at the beginning. Okay, let's start. If we're we're going back, back, boys. Uh, yeah. Buckle up. We weren't. Now, there's some things off the books, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, wait a minute. I don't know if this is playing fair if some things are off the books. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, definitely. I know what you're talking about. First I'll keep them off the books. We, were, we definitely don't want Joe over here to be shooting down your balloon. <laughs> we were in, yeah. I was in the drive through at Wendy's, okay, sitting there, a little Jeep in front of me. And this lady starts honking. I'm like, what's this lady honking at? And I look over, and here's this Dodge Dakota rolling down the parking lot. <laughs> right? She's honking at this guy to stop. But there's nobody in this truck. The truck slams into this lady. Right? It did it roll the back into her. Well, slams. Let me, let me hold, I got a question. Instead of honking, could she have backed up? 
Okay. No, because he was Already, behind. This is so slow mo. She could have pulled forward, <laughs> ordered her food, and left. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was very slow. And that's saying something because Wendy's is slow. <laughs> Wendy's is slow. So yeah. then I have to walk in and find the owner or the operator of this truck, and it's this guy right here. Well, he wasn't the operator. <laughs> he wasn't the operator. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You want to know the funny part about this story? So it was a, it was a company, it was a company truck, and it was a five-speed Dodge Dakota, and the parking brake didn't work, and first gear was questionable. <laughs> so you forgot to use the wooden chalk. Yeah. So the thing popped out of gear, rolled back into this lady. They called the police. Guess what? I was not named in this accident at all because I was not in the vehicle. The vehicle itself was at fault. So <laughs> wonder who left that. Franklin. <laughs> Wrangler! Really yeah. Is that the first time we actually like met Matt? Yeah, that would be the first time I ever... And then like a week later I start working for Bernie, I'm like, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that truck before. So, this is totally off subject because only me and you two are going to find this funny. But remember that exact same truck when we tried to teach Bernie's sons how to drive it? <laughs> Do you remember that? The fact he didn't get killed. <laughs> His ring don't hurt no more. It does, it hurts back. He's like, I'm sorry. Right? I don't know if he had a little bit more. <laughs> this thing had no shocks. I'm talking, this thing had like 300,000 miles on it, and it had no shocks in the front end. And we were trying to teach, was it two people that have owned Dodge Dakotas? <laughs> we know. Was it Jay or who was it? It was. It was not Jay. It was Jake. Jake. Okay. Yeah. So his, his Bernie's shop, this is his son, is right on a busy road in town. And we've kind of been teaching him how to drive a stick shift. We thought he had enough confidence to at least get across the road. So he lets out in the clutch, kills it. The front of the truck just slams the ground. And then it roll starts and wham, it's back down. It dies, wham, it's back down and starts. So like all the way across this main drag in town, it's like wham, 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 wham. <laughs> <laughs> the These little short black marks on the road and dump it and die. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he made it. The whole, the he conference. probably went, what, uh, 50 yards like this? Wham, <laughs> wham. You just put on the floor, like, front tires coming off the ground like he had a hydraulics, <laughs> tools flying. <laughs> Bernie's just like, well, you know. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> And now you know why first gear was messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like there's multiple Reasons. pickup stories comes out of this Bernie expedition. Oh. Did you guys have one stolen that you thought was your truck? Yeah. Well, that was Ben. Okay. That That's same truck we're okay. talking about now is the one Carly Jones rode down my front hill with a bicycle helmet on. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> the first 50 feet was hilarious. The last 300, I thought we committed murder. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Like, he's, he's edging up to the main road, and we're, like, rolling laughing, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, man. Are we cussing all the ones you're not here? Oh. Yeah, you're good. Thank the Lord. Yeah. So it was, uh, <laughs> that, that was and then if I remember right, he gets out and he's like nonchalant, like, what did he wrong? <laughs> this is after rolling down the hill? No, this oh, was while he was crossing it. Okay. So, uh, tell him about the rolling the hill. Well, years later, that truck got retired and, uh, I guess I ended up with it or something. I don't know how. I don't remember why it ended up out here. That truck, it, it that truck ended up dying. He bought another one. We switched everything over to, and the truck was just sitting here. I think it was still Bernie's, but it, the motor or something went out of it. And there was another guy who worked there at the time, Carly Jones, and he had this bright idea. He's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> He wanted to roll down the front hill. I don't think it had a motor in it. It didn't have motor. It didn't have brakes. It didn't have brakes. It didn't have anything. <laughs> but halfway down the hill, the gas tank comes out of it like damn near, <laughs> damn near catapults him up and over. <laughs> and, it's a strong gas tank. Yeah, yeah. and it, it was, uh, and he's like, dude, I'm fine. I got my bicycle helmet on. That was the whole thing. <laughs> and it was, I was a child's bicycle. Oh, yeah, it was a legit right child. Like, it didn't yeah. fit properly. Not that it mattered. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Like me and me and Cleveland are like, this is a good idea. And then Carly's like, Carly's like, this is a good idea. And then we're looking at each other like, is he agreeing to this? Because this is really a bad idea. Too late now. So we shoved him over the hill. Oh this my goodness. <laughs> Carly's great. We're still good friends. Yeah. Uh, when I got hung up in the field, that tile, Carly was the one. That He's was the one neighbor, neighbor of my new property. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, Carly's, Carly's a really good guy. Yeah. He's also the same one that got hung up in the pond that Cleman drove my semi into. It used to be in my driveway. Which one? The one that was in my driveway. Oh. And uh, blew his truck up. And then <laughs> was it, some, Josh Clark was out there doing backflips off of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
I don't say driving the semi into your pond is a bit of exaggeration. <laughs> yeah, when all I was doing was steering, you were pulling with a dozer. I, well, like, I, well, I remember. You signal if it doesn't go right. <laughs> what signal? <laughs> <laughs> we're in the pond. We're past the signal. <laughs> <laughs> the splashing is the signal. What I remember is he drove her straight in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Enough of that nonsense. This podcast gave me three words from clean and 19 from Mike and me easy. Very uh, all right, so um, we work together at uh, Bernie's, which Bernie's been on my channel. We need to get Bernie on the podcast. Oh, dude, that'd be great. He would be, uh, be awesome. Bernie would be awesome. Me, you, and Bernie never sat down. There was a lot of good, a lot of good times with Bernie. We learned a lot from Bernie. Got a lot of respect for Bernie. Oh man, yeah. Uh, so you worked there? Was it two years of summer help? Yeah, two or three years of summer help, I'd say. And basically, whenever you come in for summer help, you were my assistant. <laughs> I am blown away. I know. I usually the use the amount of restraint that you. I know. Use. I know. <laughs> okay. I gotta give you the boots back. I owe you the boots you gave me whenever I came in. I kind of, I kind of wore out bitch on that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Assistant. Uh, yeah. yeah. So the way the company was set up, we had what three lead carpenters? It was Chris Floor, um, me, and Ryan. And Ryan Eaton, yeah, that's right. So there's yeah. three main carpenters, and each main carpenter kind of had somebody that helped them. Yeah. Uh, and you were lucky enough to be, you kind of, you guys bounced around, but you spent probably the majority of your time with me. Yeah. It seems like each one of you had, like, a specialty. Yeah. You kind of leaned one way or the other. Uh, um, I did a lot more of the commercial work and the, the grunt, like, rough framing where Chris and Ryan did more of the finished work and yeah. stuff. So. What was your specialty? My specialty? I wasn't asking you. Oh, him? He can answer. I just love that. Especially like the rough work framing, excavation, demolition, all the stuff he does now. Oh, no, no, good. Yeah. 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 Uh, the other guys are better finished carpenters. Yes. Uh, they did a lot better. <laughs> That's what I was waiting Mike for. didn't always give the best advice. Do you remember? <laughs> we're going to jump around so much. Do you remember? <laughs> that, uh, well, the first few seconds of the spray paint can't come out clear. <laughs> what? <laughs> You gotta tell this to me. This was your idea. <laughs> Bernie told me that. <laughs> so we're working in this house one time, and I drilled the hole on the wrong side of the cabinet door, so I drilled into the hinge. So I went out and putted it up, and it looked really good, but it was dull. And I was gonna put some like lacquer, lacquer or some varnish on it. We used to have aerosol cans of varnish in our truck, so we could touch stuff up like that. I went out there and I told, I told Bernie, I said, I ain't got none. He says, just go get a can of spray paint. The first little comes out is always clear. You can use that. <laughs> All right. So I did it. It worked. It was worked fine. So like two or three years later, I don't remember where we were at. We were doing something. It was a, so the one I was doing it on was a wood grain cabinet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the one you were doing it on was a white cabinet. And uh, we have the same scenario, Clayman drilled a hole wrong, whatever, we got to touch something up, didn't have that. I so told Clayman, I said, just go out there and get a can and do a little bit of on it, and the first little bit will be clear. The part of the story he always leaves out is he tested my theory outside, so this, the actual on the can that was the second, not the first. <laughs> 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 and he chose black paint. <laughs> <laughs> so he's... <laughs> It's not that I gave. It's not, can't see it at all. it's not that I gave bad advice. He didn't take good instruction. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't have a second clear. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once when, the psh, duh, you're done. You know, yeah. that's you all you get. Get a different can. <laughs> be honest with you, Was that on uh, discombobulated in that house? <laughs> it might have been. Oh, was that the same one off the field? Your tools out in the field? Yeah, that was the same one. <laughs> he pissed me off. Well, I didn't have my tools. <laughs> yeah, <that's> just... <laughs> you know, it's like a tape measure to speed squeeze. <laughs> I forgot what he did. I didn't remember what he did, but he pissed me off. He had like six tools in the back of my truck. There was a hay field across the road, <laughs> which was grown up, not cut. And I just started chucking his tools. I'm like, go find him. <laughs> He was over there like for half an hour trying to find his... And you still <laughs> hang around? Why are you here? Yeah. Well, so here's... Okay. The reason I hung around is uh, Mike was leaving at some point, okay? We all knew. Mike knew. Bernie knew. Super supportive Bernie was too, by the way. Yeah. The whole transition was good. And I liked the work that Mike did. And I had a plan. You going to take his spot? I was going to take his spot. But do you know what happened, Chris? 
Marty just subbed Mike out after the <laughs> Sounds like Bernie had a plan, too. <laughs> so, that didn't oh, that, this is a bad podcast for a bus crash. <laughs> uh, did you... I know there were some other circumstances in there we can't technically talk about, but did you actually work for Bernie full-time, or were you always just part-time help? I don't think I ever... I mean, I know you. I couldn't have because I know you worked like a full year in there, but that was like a transition year, right? Because you come back and work for me. Because you, had, when I was at Vincennes, I worked like three days a week. I think. Yeah, because um, I'm trying to think, but you and Michael, or you and uh, Michael Jarbo, which is my brother-in-law, you worked for me for like two years as part-time help, didn't you? Yeah, that would have been after I left Vincennes. Yeah. 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 So we probably worked together. I think we worked together. Like two summers at Bernie's. Yeah, probably. And then that second summer lingered. The second summer was like eight months straight. Yeah. And then you got re-enrolled. I came home early. <laughs> you got I re-enrolled. for a while. <laughs> you better watch out. Sean will shoot your balloon down over there. <laughs> uh, uh, so you, yeah, you, you got an early entrance and a late exit. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> This hurts my size. What? What happened? <laughs> it hurts my size. <laughs> try. That's a whole funny story in itself. It's too bad we can't talk about it, but I want you to go back to jail. It's one of my, one of my favorite stories. I know. It's just not podcast. It's just, it's just not podcast material. Can you tell me an after podcast? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you after the podcast. Yeah. I, I think I know it. But. All right, so um, by the time you graduated from school, which at that point was Ball State, yeah. um, you come back to work for me. Full time, right? Yeah. And at that time, it was just me, right? <laughs> it was just you at the time. <laughs> yes, it was. It was you and um, Will and Jarbo, I think. Yeah, and so my brother in law, which is Jenna's youngest brother, uh, you and me. It was just the three of us. Yeah, I think I tried. And uh, I guess at that time, like some of the first jobs we did, I remember the, one of the first jobs we did was actually for Bernie. All I had was my gold truck, U35 uh, Kubota. Yeah. And the 655 tractor. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's that's where it all started. Well, I mean, literally, I literally, like, Cleveland was technically my first, not technically, he was my first employee. And probably my longest tenured employee I ever had. Yeah. Um, I can't remember how long you were open after I left, but yeah. Well, technically, I'm still open. I ain't bellied up. They're perfect files for bankruptcy. Way to let the cat out of the bag over there, bud. There's two months between current and... <laughs> no, I'm trying to think because, no, hell, that was... Uh, that was like 2008? Yeah, well, I bought that cabin in 2009. And I started working for you in Josh Clark's house, I think. Right? Yeah, which would have been the year before, which would have been 2008. Yeah. Because we were still traveling around. I guess one thing we can talk about is amongst working for Burning, uh, we also traveled around for a very well-known pyrotechnics company doing fireworks. Yeah. Uh, the commercial fireworks. Which is, they have a different name. They got, uh, they got bought out, really, which we haven't done for a while. But long. Uh, but we, I mean, we, we traveled around and did some pretty big shows because I remember... We come back from a training whenever you ran your truck in the ditch up there, Josh. Yes, and that was back. Well, I th- for some reason, I got it in my head is whenever we come back from that training is when like you officially started full time. I don't know why. I could have been. Maybe you're already full time, but uh, so in the very beginning, I- I've covered the history of this of my company a little bit. In the very beginning, I started off as strictly an excavating company through my construction background, as Clayman alluded to, and. Um, the recession, we kind of did what we had to, and we turned into a foundation company. Mm-hmm. Uh, that kind of took off and uh, ended up with a business partner in the construction industry. <clears throat> and you were you were a crew lead in the construction business. We were still doing excavating, but you were a crew lead in the construction business for five years? Yeah. yeah I mean, I worked for it for five or, five or six years. I mean, I started the department in 2016, I think. So. But I worked... For a year, Lincoln Hill. Right. So, be right so uh, at that time, by the time you left working for us at the construction company, you had two or three guys working underneath you. Yeah. Uh, you were pretty much um, 
I didn't really babysit you a whole lot towards the end. You were pretty much on your own. Yeah, I mean, unless it's a super big job or we're yeah. out of town jobs. We're yeah. Kind of so you poured a bunch of ICF for us. You were doing some smaller excavating jobs for us, uh, running some running jobs for us. We were building a lot of houses at that point. Uh, not that I wanted to build houses, but we had to we had to build houses to keep it going. Um, so I'm kind of fast forward here a little bit. I don't think it's a uh, even proper to say is I had so I still own the excavating business I had a partner in the construction business and the employees floated back and forth between the two. Yeah. Um, you and the partner in the construction business didn't always see eye to eye no we didn't <laughs> no. but now I want to say though now I do like if I go talk to him I see him or run into him I have a conversation. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't. It's just at that point, employee-employer relationship. His, and I, I'm not, uh, Josh has been on the podcast. I'll call him by name. I ain't afraid of that. Um, I like being kind of weird if you were. But. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I want to explain because um, Josh's way of managing people and my way of managing people were two totally different ways of managing people. Right. Not saying mine was right or his was right, but our styles, my way of managing people and the way you like to be managed lined up. Right, yeah. The way Josh wanted to manage people and the way you wanted to be managed did not line up. And I mean, I'm not going to say losing you when we did wasn't uh, a hurt to the company, but I I mean, it it did. Here's what I want to go with that is, is leaving definitely left a void in the company. I can't deny that at all, but I'm kind of glad you left when you did to at least salvage our friendship. Yeah, I, oh, I agree 100%. Does that make sense? Because uh, I've talked to people about that. that it, I think if I would have stayed longer, whatever friendship we'd had would have been. Right. Because his right. My relationship with Josh deteriorated our relationship. Well, it, I had to, I got, his tools. Well, I, well, I got stuck <laughs> being, I got, instead of being uh, a friend, all, all of my, you can comment on this, but everybody that worked for us, I considered more an employee of a friend. Like I was invested oh, yeah. in their, yeah. their life, their kids, their, like I took what, I took, the responsibility of making sure their family get fed pretty damn serious. And I'm not saying Josh didn't, but it wasn't like these guys are just a number or a guy pushing a time clock. They're like, they were somebody I really cared about. Uh, and I could, I kind of got stuck being stuck in the middle between. You had to mitigate between being. Yeah, I had to keep the peace on both sides. I had to keep the bills paid and make sure all the customers were happy and everything was managed along with keeping the crew happy and everything going wrong. You know, Josh had his reasons for doing what he did. I had my reasons for doing what I did, and you had your reasons for feeling what what you did. I ain't saying anybody was right or wrong, but I ended up being a damn mediator more than I did a worker or a manager. Now, it's one reason why I'm in the position I am today, because I enjoy working more than I do all that nonsense. Um, Managing people. Managing people. So we had a good, and I don't want to say it was all bad. We had a good five-year run. Yeah. We had a lot of fun, did a lot of Great. things, built some awesome houses, uh, met some awesome people. Uh, I'd like to think you gained some awesome experience. Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, 100%. I mean, it was kind of a fun and exciting time the first two and a half, three years because everything was growing, everything was new. We were kind of the new kids on the block, kind of proving ourselves and all that stuff and did a lot of things that people said that couldn't be done. Uh, but then the, the grind kind of set in. Is that a good way to put it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, were you around when you guys built the Derby Community Center? Were you employed with them at that time yet? Or? Yeah. Um, I can't remember. Yeah, so the way that worked out was at the time when it was being built, I was the president and Mike was the vice president, which none of that yeah, I no. mean shit at that point. You know, we were all, everybody was doing the same thing. But I ended up, we had a conversation because I knew I was going to Evansville, that I was going to be stepping down at some point in the near future. Uh-huh. Um, so we made the decision that I want to step down before the ribbon cutting. Okay. Because the way the county was hounded on everything, the county just wants the derby to fail. Right? Yep. So we didn't want to have a ribbon cutting, and then a month later, you step out. Right. Right. So I stepped down before the ribbon cutting. I can't remember. Did you step in or did Josh step in? Yep. I did. I can't remember how that worked out. Well, um, it took a lot of us to make that project happen. But me and you being a team. Me and you working as a team on that project is what made it come reality. But you was working for Simon Harris building the in the beginning. In the beginning yeah. of it, okay. I think I think oh, that was. Right. I was working for Lincoln Hills during the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So whenever whenever the proof of the concept come up, we were working together. Uh, things materialized at Simon Harris. He actually went to work for a local company in maintenance. Your your ultimate goal was to get into the. Um, 
paramedic or uh, emergency yeah. services. Right, right. Um, but uh, in, in the interim, you took a job at Lincoln Hills as maintenance, which was actually still local. Yeah. So we were able to manage the building process. process. And then by the time the building was done, you had taken your current job, and there was some kind of some question marks about how far you could be, distances, and that stuff's changed now. But it just made sense to transfer that. But you are president, I was vice president. It really didn't matter. I mean, it was, it was irrelevant. Why don't you tell that story in your details here? Which one's that? How you guys ended up. On the community association. Yeah, yeah. We got yeah. tricked. Hell or high, <laughs> hell or high water. Quite a big joke, man. <laughs> I was starting to tell them that story this morning, but I don't remember enough. He of said, it. "Don't worry, you don't have to come to the meeting tonight. It's not a big deal." And then you get a phone call later, like, "Oh, by the way, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got voted in president." <laughs> well, the, the, so the the association had been dormant for five, six years. They were sitting on a little bit of money, like four or five thousand dollars, and they were kind of unhappy with the things. They turned it over to the park, and they're kind of unhappy with some stuff. And they say, "I mean, you were." I was highly involved where I come from. Your dad's highly involved in a lot of stuff, and you were involved in some stuff. So they kind of approached us about taking it over, getting some new blood in. And we kind of loosely talked about it and said we'd maybe be interested. Yeah, very loosely. Very loosely. Like, that, as they're talking, we're working on a project, and, it's, and you're just like, yeah, okay, you know. Like, yeah, like, shut up, happen. go away type yeah. deal. And uh, they scheduled a meeting, which was like their first meeting in like five years. And that was a 2011 flood. So right before the meeting, they had the new river forecast come out, and we're like, oh, shit, we got to move a bunch of stuff. So I think I called Mike Frenchville. Like, we ain't going to make it. we got to move Derby out. Yeah. Well, in the middle of the flood, they decided to still have the meeting and vote <laughs> us president and vice president. <laughs> well, we're out there moving trailers out. So the moral of the story is hell or high water. the town. They're yeah. you in to run the town. Yeah. <laughs> so the moral of the story is hell or high water show up for the damn meeting. You know? <laughs> exactly. That's, how'd, uh, how'd that turn out, though? Well, we've invested yeah. close to a million dollars in Derby so far in the last uh, 13 years. Yeah. <coughs> we, met, we did. We awesome. worked really well together. We've always worked really well together. Yeah. Um, After the first tool throw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not to say we still don't throw tools. Yeah. You know. Once we established our territories, yeah. you're like. We, uh, we made a good team, and the biggest thing was the community really wanted it. They were yeah. really into this, and they just needed somebody to have some ideas. They, needed, they just needed leadership. They had, yeah. We had the money. We had the people. They just needed leadership, and that's what the combination of him and I were able to provide was the organization and the leadership to make it happen. Yeah. Uh, we've done a few podcasts about this a little bit. We touched on it. Uh, maybe we'll... Maybe we'll go in depth a little more on that one day. So there's but, an interesting topic on that. But go ahead and yeah, but I mean, here we are. What was the building was built in? Well, it had to be fifteen or fifteen or sixteen. Or 16. Yeah. yeah, so it's going on six or seven yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. Nice. and we can we continue to make massive improvements. On we're doing a hundred thousand dollar improvement on it as we speak. So, awesome. um, still all private money, no no grants, no government subsidies, no nothing. It's all all us and. County will do anything for them. Yeah, county's a joke. Um, fight it, obviously. Yeah. How many years did it take to get that property tax exemption? Oh, my As goodness. As a 501c3, they it's the, That's the reason I got my first gray hair. And, and our <laughs> our county politics are, they should, a lot of politicians should be embarrassed of themselves, but our county politicians should be even more embarrassed of themselves. And Chris can allude to this a little bit. Most of the politicians in this county are not very favorable. No. <laughs> Just like everyone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, all right, we're getting off in the weeds on that. So, um, so I continued on. I'm just kind of getting a timeline out here. We continued on with the construction business for another five or six years. You continued on with your career in the fire service. Yeah. Um, 2018 comes around. Sure. You're way better at dates than me. Yeah, well. Everything could have happened in 2009. All of this could have yeah. happened. <laughs> 2018 comes around. We've been doing the construction industry for 10, the construction business for 10 years. Um, I was just tired of it. I, I've i covered this a lot of times in podcasts before. I was tired of the rat race. Kids were getting older, wouldn't be involved in stuff. And uh, I was going with no employees, no business partners, no nobody. Uh, me and Josh had some really good conversations. He had opportunities. I had opportunities. We just kind of went our own way. And um, I didn't know what was going to happen. I said, the hell with it. I'm done. I'm going to go back to digging in the dirt with a little bit of equipment I got, and I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, and I, at some point along the lines, you got a hold of me. 
Okay, here we go. You ready? I'm going to sit back and listen. I have to listen. get stopped now. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yes. Take the mic off. Right, it's your turn. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's still on, Captain. <laughs> so I was looking for some sideline. Because that's one of the things about the fire career. We work 24-hour shifts. I work 10 shifts a month, which means I have a bunch of time off. And there was about, what, <clears throat> Two and a half, three years in there, where we, um, I don't want to say it's two and a half, three years in there. You're busy, I was busy. We didn't cross paths a whole lot. Not at all. We live in the same town of 27 people, yeah. and I probably didn't talk to you for two or three years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's 28 now. 28. Yeah. Them other 26 had a lot to say, though. <laughs> So I was, not that we were mad at each other, like we just, just didn't have we didn't have a reason. It's kind of like me living next to Wade. I, yeah. I just don't see him a yeah. whole lot. Everybody's busy. So I was looking for some side money. I started driving a truck to East Canton, Ohio, and back. Oh, that's right. Which was good money, but made me gone that much more because it was right. Does Officer Hoover watch these podcasts? He knows all about that. Okay, good. so the mechanic would drive for the first two hours. And then <laughs> the electronic mechanic. The electronic mechanic. James. Drive. Dave the balloon mechanic? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was a long route. It was like 14, 16 hours. It was a hard run. Um, but good money. And I happened to run to you in the store one day. And I was like, I'm just looking to get back into driving local. And you said, call me in a month. And I was like, all right, I'll call you in a month. So I did. And then look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Some so, things you regret saying to people. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for you. How many mirrors did you break driving the Ohio on by? None. Really? Okay, good. They really keep the trees cut back. <laughs> 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 they really do, man. They still good There ain't many trees on the interstate, <laughs> Especially now. Um, I, I feel like we need to back up and catch one thing, though. Oh, okay. So the last... Great two, story. You told it wrong. No, <laughs> the last two years you actually worked for me full time. You started a YouTube channel. I did. Oh, so this okay. See, I'll tell a story. You want a story? <laughs> so I did. This was YouTube was way different though. Way different. Not like it is now. Back then you're like, let's just put a video up and see what happens, right? There's no really not a lot of money into it or time into it. No. Um, no one made series. No one made continuous <laughs> episodes. But I remember watching a video. There was this fellow. He was in a long reach cat excavator. I think the video's got like 21 million views. I know right. video. And he was dredging out the top of this canal for like seaweed or something. And he had to wait for the cat mechanic to come change the controls on the excavator. And I said, if this clown <laughs> can have this many views and can't even change the controls on his excavator, what can I do? You know? Yeah. So uh, I was like, how hard could it be? So I started putting up videos. Mike couldn't turn around in a driveway one day. I got 250,000 views. I was like, well, that was fun. I don't think I ever did anything with it again. <laughs> so just to be clear, he comes to me, he comes to me one day. He's like, this let's dig. He's like, this let's dig 18 guy. At that, the time he's talking about, Chris had 18,000 subscribers. He comes to me. I didn't know he did, Chris. There's a camera. <laughs> <laughs> he had 18,000 subscribers. He's like, look at, and of course, Wade was doing YouTube then, too. Was he? Yeah, because I remember, uh, yeah, Wade was doing YouTube. Captain has to move in a little bit. Have I been out this whole time? You've been a <laughs> floating voice in a hand. That's fine. Yeah, um, Wade, was, yeah, yeah, Wade yeah. was doing YouTube. He's the one that kind of um, somewhat, because of Wade, we knew what YouTube was. That, yeah. But Chris was the one that we kind of found, which back then, he was pretty much the only one on there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think you come to me one day and said, hey, what do you think about recording some of this stuff? And I, I was like, I, I'm fine with it. You know, like, if you're going to do it all, I don't really care. Um, and you had a couple videos that, for back in the day, did really well. Did really well. Um, but it was just weird back then. You didn't edit things. You didn't no. make series. You know. You and it's so funny now because if you go potato phone out and yeah, if you go yeah, if you go way back on his channel, you still got some of those videos up, don't you? Yeah, I think I have a playlist called All Videos. Very original. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clever title. Very original. <laughs> it's real clickbait. But it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty cool to go back and see some of the old equipment we had back then. Oh yeah, the old trucks. That old FL seventy was a blast. Uh, some of the goofy shit we did back in the day. Um, I wish we, I wish YouTube was more constructed back in the day because we'd have been. Did you ever wonder what would have happened if you would have kept with it from there? No, I've never lost sleep about <laughs> missing four. You years might have been content. You might have been bigger than DP right now. 
<laughs> Never lost sleep over lost revenue, so, Mike. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm, in, I'm in some of your old videos. The uh, I, I just remember he's hinting at royalties. So no, I just remember <laughs> the end of this. Is I took the ads off. He, there's no royalty. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember there was one video we were taking a tree down in Grandma's driveway, and we were loading that great big stuff with a 110. <laughs> And Cleveland texts me one night, and he's like, wow, this video is doing great. It's got 500 views. And I'm like, okay, is that good? Because I had no idea. Well, the first thing I do is pull up Wade, and the last video he posted had 5,000 views. I'm like, well, damn it, Cleveland. <laughs> what did <you laughs> wrong here, you know? And looking back in hindsight, like, in perspective of what we see and do today, it's it's wild. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's wild. Because, I don't know, you probably had, what, 40 videos back then? Yeah, maybe. And those videos would have done a lot better today because that was early on in your company when we were making do with what we had. We were doing things with equipment we shouldn't be doing with equipment because yeah. we were making it work. Was you fighting GoPros back in too? What did we use back in? I had a, no, I had one GoPro. But GoPro like back, 3, wasn't it? Yeah, back then you just mounted it. Oh, yeah. You move it. You weren't yeah. talking and talking. You weren't trying to get cool. You were just putting it on the grab bar. Like we used to haul the 35 in the back of the FL70. Yeah. Things like that, you know. Good times. Hoover would love that. Raising. You know, you know what else is in a lot of those old videos? Not DOT violations. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that was before I Bluetooth think binders. I think there's two pieces of equipment are the same from the old videos to today. Uh, well, 120 for sure. And the 955 and the Mac. 120 and the Mac. Mm -hmm. I, I wish I had videos of the old the old Mac we used to have. The R model. Yeah. That was Brandon one twenty for a minute today. I saw myself on the boom. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, I buddy. think that's the only two things that are left. Yeah, that'd be in the six fifty five, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if the six fifty five was ever in because of the fourteen fifty's gone, the O twenty six hundred's gone, the thirty five's gone, four fifty's gone, four fifty's gone. Yeah, it's definitely a blast from the past. Yeah, I wish. God, I wish. I flipped the six fifty five on flat pavement. You know, <laughs> well, that's hilarious. <laughs> It's, it's still the same today as it used to be back then. Whenever I screw something up, just destroy it. I will spend all day like, I can fix this before Mike finds out. <laughs> and Mike won't get a call until like 6 p.m. that night. So like at 6, Mike gets a call. Hey, if it rolled over, what do I need to do before I start? <laughs> I've got the uh, mini at the home now using it and... I was going down through the woods, opening up a trail, putting in the culvert, and every time I got close to the tree, I'm watching my panels. I don't want to scratch Cleveland's panels anywhere. <laughs> my favorite is when I get a boxer from him, and he's, he's in a very good mood, and he's laughing. I'm like, what happened? Uh, well, I was a uh, boxer in Cleveland, and all of a sudden, at the end, of, right before he hung up, he was like, oh, yeah, you're new. He's lost me here Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I do my best to bring you solutions. Yeah. You also did a good job of making problems to have solutions. To. It's research and development. Yeah. Research and development. That's a write-off. Uh, so, all right. So, by the time you, but whenever we met up down at the market and started talking, and uh, you were going to start helping me part time here and there. Um, I had already started my YouTube channel by that point. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember. I think I was 15, 18,000 subscribers somewhere there. I'd say that's about right. Uh, somewhere in that neighborhood. So uh, me and you just like immediately fell back into our old times of working together, oh, yeah, having that's a good great. time, kicking around. Um, tools flying everywhere. Tools flying yeah. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. The normal. Believe it. That speed square got some distance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. We probably worked together for. I don't know, maybe six months or so, and uh, I don't know, if, did you come to me and said you're going to fire your channel back up, or I talked you into firing your channel back up, I don't know where I was. I'd say... Because you were actually filming, and you were on my channel quite a bit at that point. There was a key analytic on your channel that made me think, I think I want to do this. Is that the one that has an S and a U over top of each other? It's the money. <laughs> I was trying to mash out the words real quick. That's, that's the dollar sign is the U over the S. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? USD? Yeah, the money sign is the U over the S. Because you first started, and much like Jenna, I said... No, is... hold on, time out. Explain this. What? 
The money sign is the S <laughs> with, with the U. That's the two lines is the U. I don't have a U, is it? It's a freaking it's line is. through it. It's two lines for a U. That's it's how it's done. It's a line. No. Dude. Yeah. That's how, the, that's how the money sign come to be is the U and the S. What does it stand for? Like US, US, whatever it is. USD. United States dollar. Does that look like I'm too a dumb for this you? conversation? Like I, I'm not saying that's what it looks like today. That's how it started off back in the day. Okay. Now you're making sense. Does YouTube yeah. use that symbol? Yes. Really? Uh, and then they have one line on YouTube. I would like Goes to, to show you podcast. how I don't get paid. This on is YouTube. not a historical podcast, and I will not take anything that is said historically on this podcast as accurate. <laughs> so anyways we were discussing it one day and apparently i uh, maybe mentioned how much money i made yeah looks like a regular <laughs> dollar sign to me yeah and i was like well that sounds good because i too enjoy earning revenue <laughs> strange how that happens strange how that <laughs> but you had a you had a head start you were already sitting at like 300 subscribers or something yeah yeah but I, I still almost to this day think I should have started over from scratch. Started completely because that if you look at my analytics for six years, it's just this flat line. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I don't know that. Was you Captain Clayman back then? No, he was Clayman SHC. Yes, Clayman SHC. Clayman Construction. Clayman Simon Harris Construction. Really? Ride or die, baby. <laughs> 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 you did change your name. I remember the conversations we had. We talked for like for three weeks on so trying to decide on the name. Oh, yeah. Because YouTube only gives you three tries. No, trust me. I know. I <laughs> yeah. That's how I'm stuck with my name. But I still to this day think you have the Stop. best logo on YouTube. Oh, yeah. If anybody ever actually looks at your logo and reads the details in it. He nailed it. I didn't expect that. That you got Feed the, the giant. Name. Shout him out. Feed the giant. I Ian. guess he still does this. Ian. Jarman. I don't know if he does or not. I haven't talked to him um, in a while. He's like, what do you want? I was like, I don't know. A boat in the woods or something. First first try. I'm like, that's freaking perfect. And there's this little Easter egg right on the bow. It just says genius. <laughs> really? <laughs> and it's hilarious to me. Yeah. see if I can blow it up here. It makes me laugh pretty hard. Yeah, it's pretty good. But uh, I mean, you... Um... What were your first two attempts? I'm perfect. No. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. <laughs> Derby dirt works. It was now my first one. My very first oh, one yeah. I won. I remember this. Was Dirtball TV. I wanted to be Dirtball TV. I changed my name to Dirtball TV. And Jenna had a flip and fit and said it was stupid, retarded, ignorant, <laughs> yada yada yada. Good. Yeah, she's man. Yeah, good advice. Yeah, good advice. Still... Bus, but she had good advice. There. Yeah. <laughs> and then I changed it to Dirt Perfect. And I spelled perfect wrong. <laughs> That's <laughs> understandable with your channel. <laughs> I don't know how did you spell that. I don't remember. It's a typo. It is P U R R R T. It is P U. So I corrected. It was definitely P U. I corrected dirt perfect to dirt perfect. And well, then, no, you <laughs> corrected dirt perfect. Yeah. <laughs> dirt perfect. Yeah, that was your third try. Yeah. So then I didn't know there was this three three rule deal, so I was going to be uh, Dozer Dad. I was going to be Dozer Dad, so I went to change it to Dozer Dad. And they said, your time's up. Come back in three months. I thought, well, nobody's going to watch my channel in three months, so that'll be fine. Three months later, I got 6,000 subscribers, and shit's taken off, so I'm stuck with Dirt Perfect. Which, Dirt Perfect was always meant to be a joke, like a play on words. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Not a joke. <laughs> yeah. But you were getting ready to say you had the same opinion as Jim. About my channel, whatever. I think I told you I was going to do YouTube when I actually <laughs> started. Yeah. No, you did. You are like, I think I'm going to start a channel. I was like, neat. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's you, great, bud. <laughs> you go, girl. I had the same opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I believed in you. Just want to throw that out there. Well, then I saw that analytic and I was like, I believed in you the whole time. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, you got some coat tails like Jim on. Yeah. <laughs> I keep meeting for yeah, Christmas yeah. one you year. You can keep the green stuff. I'll take the change falling off. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get like a, a nice like trench coat. I'm going to cut the fringe on the bottom mm. and put everybody's channel patches on there. <laughs> <laughs> get it to them for Christmas. No, but I had the same um, I had the same motto with Cleman as I do with Aaron or anybody else. I encourage these guys to start their channel. I mean, I'm... I probably tried to help you more in the beginning than what you wanted to help me, I believe. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's a really polite way to say it. Is there a question mark at the end of that, or is yeah. it a yeah? yeah? Was that a statement or? A, oh no, he's doing his role. Yes or yes. no? Yes. 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 Your turn. No, I'm glad you had the channel because you just kept running experiments, and then I would you'd be like, I'm gonna try this. I'm like. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you try that also. <laughs> so I'm trying to think how long I've been doing it uh, going on five years. So I guess you've been doing it on three and a half going on four. I think, yeah, I think you're right at a year ahead. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'll be doing it five years in November. It'll be my five year anniversary. That's slightly depressing because that means I've been working on that damn boat. <laughs> For I'm, way too long. Still, I still don't know if it's gonna float. I don't think it is. No, I, I'm ready it. to find out. I but a person genuinely asked me, "How do you plan on moving that to the river?" That was me. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, I, I mean, mean, I have asked you that at least. We've once got. Uh, I mean, the social media's obviously got its downfalls, but it's been good though. It's oh, it's been great. Um, oh, phenomenal opportunities. Met some awesome people. Yeah. It's awesome, man. I mean, look what we're getting ready to do here in a couple weeks, you yeah. know? Yeah. We wouldn't have been doing that. Yeah, because you were, I'm trying to think, we're coming up on three years and we're going to Con Expo. Yeah. Yeah. And you had um, That's what they're talking about. five or 6,000 subscribers last time at Con Expo? Yes. I somewhere, would say. Somewhere, it's gonna be somewhere in that neighborhood. But yeah. Yeah. Um, before we get, so I guess to kind of finish this thing out, I get the question all the time, does Captain still work for you? How can we never see Captain on the channel no more? Well, you know what I mean? Like, I just showed up, had fun, and you're like, do you want money? I was like, I don't know. You got some jerky at the store? <laughs> no, he just traded out. Okay. <laughs> some of my tools around. Yeah. I, I guess I laugh at the comment a lot of bit, uh, quite a bit, because I guess, obviously they don't watch your channel, because you post a lot of videos on your channel still doing work for me. Yeah, it, it's funny. Like, you working for Mike soon? Please check previous video. <laughs> <laughs> you do a lot of one-off jobs for Michael. You can go do a job by yourself. Well, and, that's, and I think that goes back to, I mean, I did it for you for several years, and yeah. she still sings it. Well, so you can go do your a thing couple of things have changed since whenever Cleman first started working back for me, or I shouldn't say working, back, working for me, working with me back in the day. Uh, you had a lot less projects going on of your own. Yeah. And you had more consecutive days available. And I didn't have nobody else. Uh, I now have Matt and Aaron and, and Jerry. And Jerry. And it works really good for me to lean on Cleman with a quick one day job where he can get in and get out. And it's just him because he just seemed to work by himself, anyways. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and then he's got a CDL, so a lot of times I'll have him moving equipment. So I got enough equipment now, he can be hopscotching stuff ahead of me. And it's stuff he can do if he gets off shift, he can do it a couple hours or... It's nothing um, that's time critical. Time critical, matches right. Matches my schedule, matches what I need to do. Yeah. So, with that being said, yeah. he's a huge help and a huge asset, but we're not always in the same place at the same time. To be on a video. Why he's, why he's not on my channel. Um, and then, whenever he is on my channel, he screws everybody up because his videos are current. Mine's are two months behind, so it's like <laughs> people are in two different time zones. Which I have a question. So the whole skit with the sweater and some all this. <laughs> Did you think about this like a couple days in advance? Were you like walking out the door and you're like, you know, it'd be funny as hell. Grab the sweater. <laughs> How'd that go? I don't have plans. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Something happens. It happened right there. <laughs> you gotta tell me what you're talking about. That's your job. So he shows up. We're, we're working together one day, and he shows up. It's the middle of August. It's supposed oh, well, to be like 95 degrees. You've got to preface this about your channel problems and the time. I don't have channel problems. No problem. That's an advantage. I don't care what anybody says. No, you're right. always like yeah. two months behind. He's two months ahead. Yeah. 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 You know? He's recording anybody two months that, ahead. Anybody that does it from our side appreciates where I yeah. sit. So I what agree. he does is he records a bunch of videos, and he's he's got them scheduled out like two months in advance. Oh, that's smart. So I may go two months without filming. I may go, I may go two weeks without filming. I may go a week without editing, but I've always got Got a video coming up. No, my fine. schedule, my life right. is crazy. It saves uh, you time in the long run. I'm it, sure it does, and people get good <laughs> quality. <laughs> people yeah. get good quality videos on a regular basis. So, anyways, Cleman shows up one day. It's August. It's it's a middle of summer. It's August. It's supposed to be like 95 degrees that day. He's bundled up like an Eskimo. I said, "What the hell are you doing?" He said, "Dude, I'm filming for September." <laughs> <laughs> the attention to detail and the amount of effort that was. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I appreciate it. You know? <laughs> and I mean, I get, 
I don't know. I guess if you have nothing better to do, sit at home, watch videos. And honestly, if it wasn't me collaborating with other channels, you'd probably never know I was two months behind. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Listen, people <laughs> have a job that's like two days a year. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> but we have fun with it, and it, it it's the only way I can do it. If I didn't do it, I wouldn't be able to do it. So it's it's, yeah. that, or, it's that or nothing. I just love when you get new equipment, and I have to lie for two months. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, he's renting Taco 240 again. You know? And then you put your decals on it. I was like, dude, I can't. They're not going to believe this anymore. <laughs> they didn't want it before. <laughs> You're right. killing me. You're killing me. <laughs> I'll let you have. I'll let you. I'll let you expose the DL five fifty. You did. You did. Yeah. Was that no. a permission granted, or was I asking for forgiveness? Dude, that, yeah, I don't know. That was the last minute <laughs> thing. I really didn't. He well, wasn't using it on any of my jobs. Like the yeah. two forty, he was using on one of my jobs. So it would have been harder for me to incorporate my videos with his but this one here he was doing on his own something oh, yeah, that was, yeah. didn't affect any time schedule on my video other than the equipment being exposed and the whole reason they gave me that piece of equipment was to get exposure right so yeah. it didn't make no sense for me to hold him back on that the podcast beat you to the triaxle so you ain't gonna worry about them. clint beat him to the triaxle oh clint beat him to the triaxle. i knew about this yeah. before i got here okay. from clint's channel yeah. I tell, so yeah so my brother's been on me he's like when you go hold shirt when you go hold shirt when you go hold shirt i was like not tell mike if mike doesn't have a triaxle it doesn't financially make sense to hold shirt he texts me and he's like yeah i saw clint's video <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> oh man it's uh we, it's just but i guess it's, it's a nice cool. truck but i'm it's a shame you sold lieutenant dan Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not even going down that route. But I'll, I'll touch back on that real quick. When I start working for you, it's for extra cash, and YouTube's kind of fulfilled that role now. So it's not as pressing as it was when I first started. Well, I do got one question for you, Captain, pertaining to this truck. Do you think it'll start every day? You want to use it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, boy, what's in it? <laughs> <laughs> it never failed to see 85 hour had to be jump start every time Captain wanted to use it. There's a point where it's like, I'm not defending him on this one. Yeah. You know, like, I'd be like, oh, it's negative 12 today. You know, some excuse of why it wouldn't start. And it got to the point where it's like, somebody tell me to buy batteries. Okay. I, I come down and get the uh, 305 there today. Wouldn't start. I feel Captain's pain. So I'm blundering through the barn. Oh, a set of jumper cables. Perfect. 755's got the front tire parked right on him, pinned to the ground. Like, now you now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing Kevin does. He calls me. Where are you at? Where are you at? <laughs> it's a puzzle. Mike's got all the pieces. You just got to figure, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> He's usually got the piece you need in his pocket. Though, yeah. Or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be a boxer, like, what works? The jump box? The jump box? You know, which jump box works? Like yeah. that one video I labeled. He did. Like, good. <laughs> Because he had good jump box on it, and I went to jump the dozer and it didn't start, and I was like, less good. <laughs> well, you put, you put kind of good. Kind of good. Yeah. You put really not good at all. <laughs> oh, man. So, by, uh, recap here a little bit. We've worked together off and on for, what, 15 years now? Well, 2004 is when I started working for Party Park. No, I mean, so it's getting close to 20 years. Yeah, almost 20 years now. It's crazy. We've had a lot of good times, though. A lot of good times. We've done a lot of crazy stuff. Some of the best. We like, could have uh, the church with your uncle. Yes. That's a great story. The boat out at Bud's. Yeah. Uh, the, we had Three grown men walking through Walmart leaving with a cart full of air mattresses and ratchet straps. Okay. <laughs> right. Sounds like a boat to me. <laughs> on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of good times. We did, we did. We still we still have a lot of good times. We I'd love to get, if you get Bernie on, I'd, I'd love to sit down, because I think Bernie set the expectation for any boss I ever had, because he was so freaking awesome. Yeah. He's similar to me and you that he'll take on a lot of projects just like, well, how are we? Well, I think uh, one thing I'm... <laughs> well, well I but one thing that I think we both appreciate about Bernie, he still just continue to do it today, is he always wanted to do it different than everybody else. Oh yeah. Which, that's my motto, that's your motto, and I appreciate his uh, commitment to that. Yeah. How many times do we, I don't know if Bernie watches your podcast, but how many times do we make the joke, <laughs> what would Bernie do? <laughs> yeah, We'd be was... sitting there staring at something like, well, what would Bernie do? 
Yeah. I mean, every time. He was always outside the box. I know, I know Bernie watches all my videos as he comments on them from time to time, but I, I hope he does watch the podcast. I'd love to have him on sometime. Me, you, and Bernie sitting down, that'd be, that'd be one of my top two podcasts, to be honest with you. I've never been so excited to work on a flower bed in my life. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And you're like, hey, can we go? Yeah, so if you guys that don't know, uh, you've posted videos working with Bernie. Yeah. I've got some old videos on my channel of pouring concrete out in front of his old shop. And then more recently, the very first job with Bubba Dump was at Bernie's house. Bernie's house, yeah. Uh, we're going to go back and do some more work for Bernie here in a couple of weeks. But um, it's Bernie's. funny, too, because we moved those stones. I was like, how am I going to get these stones off these patios? And I look over, and I see those short pipes. And I was like, Bernie rolled these. But even all these pipes. years later, going back and working with Bernie, it's like we were there yesterday. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just no like, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, very fortunate to have Bernie as a boss. Learned a lot from Bernie. Some things to do and not to do, like gas a fire washer wine drone. Well, so. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Who has time to shut it down? <laughs> I'm sure there's flames involved. Oh, there's a hundred percent. All I know, I think three. Cleveland was spraying on this here birdie. Say spray, and I look over the things running wide open in a ball of fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a heated pressure washer. No, no, it wasn't that point. I guess you mm -hmm. could say but. hot water. Yeah, Bernie <clears throat> is a great boss to work for. So, um, social media. We've both been doing this long enough. We get the good mind daily, right? Sometimes, yeah. So obviously there's a lot more good than there is bad and we've met some awesome people and get some awesome comments but I always ask everybody like how do you approach the not head comments? Just like hateful comments? I mean hateful, uh, disrespectful, like uh, any of the above. Take it wherever you want. Oh, okay. This is your turn, Captain. This is my turn. You yeah, kind of yeah, got the, to you. You've kind of got the same. You've kind of got the same approach to some of this as what I do. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. These Captain's getting out of the picture again. There, so sure, yeah. <laughs> I know what kind of guy Sean is. <laughs> Have you gathered that really? What kind of guy he is? Tell us. Um. So. Well, if you're a creator or if you're just a commenter, one of the two here, there's two ways to look at this. But in the beginning, I hated hateful comments. Like, really? They, they really got to me in the beginning. Really? And I, I talked to friends about it, and I had some buddies look at my comments. Like, I mean, you got super nice comments. I was like, yeah, but if you went to a party, and 99 people shook your hand, and it was like, man, great party. And one guy came up and just punched you in the face and said your taco dip so. <laughs> you know? Like, what, which one are you going to remember? You know? I don't know. <laughs> remember not to make taco dip so. Yeah. yeah. It's like, why am I even I'm throwing that recipe away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not worth this party at all. I don't like taco dip, so I'm good. But, uh, no, I, yeah, you're... Yeah. You you're don't like good. much, Mike. Yeah. yeah. I like him. Should I call that a surprise? Yeah. You guys have a hamburger, but I only want one bun and a lot of pepper, so I can't taste the hamburger. Yeah, yeah we can do that. Uh, but the more you get onto it, and where this came from, you know Lord Mucks. You remember Lord Mucks? Yeah. Lord Mucks, uh, he's over in England somewhere. Yeah, awesome has a channel. really good channel. You talking about, the, I don't think I know what video you're You're the one that turned me on to this video, where he just kind of vented yeah. about comments. And I'm going to paraphrase, but basically... The whole thing he said was that uh, I started it with zero subscribers. You know, I can grow it. I, like, I don't have to have you here. If you don't want to be here, don't be here. So you kind of take that mindset on those hateful comments. And then eventually, when you realize that those hateful comments don't matter because they're not loyal subscribers, you just have fun. Yeah. You just mess with them. That's my you favorite know? thing ever. Like, you'll have a guy, I had a guy the other day, his name was Ron, and he was like, you never finish anything. And I was like, listen. Is that Ron? No, not, not, uh, oh. <laughs> I could not think of another name. <laughs> <laughs> not Ron. Robbie, Robbie. Yeah. But his guy's name is Ron. He's like, you never finish your project. So I was like, uh, listen here, Ray. Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> For the longest time, the highlight of my week was when you'd send me screenshots of these comments and oh, your responses. It's so much fun. Oh, my God. Some of them were. Phenomenal. I guess I never went through the phase where they bothered me. Um, oh, they still bother me. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I, even on this podcast, I scroll through 5,000 nice comments. I find that one guy. And you know, they bother me on other channels that aren't even my channel. <laughs> well, I know. Like, they don't like, bother me. Yeah. somebody say something hateful. Let me help this guy. Yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> do you think you are? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, every once in a while, they'll get the words just in the right combination where at least gets an eyebrow raise out of me, like, wait a minute. But then I'm like, eh. And I'm just, 
I don't know. I, I, it's it's one hundred percent. If you leave a mean comment on my channel, it is strictly one hundred percent entertainment to me. He gets pinned right away. I mean, it's <laughs> yeah. You can pin him. You also have a, a following of pit bulls. Yeah. That police the comment section very well. I but, uh, our subscribers are yeah. not like I said nine mm -hmm. point nine percent of our comment section. Yeah, that's one. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 No. Oh yeah, and that's one advantage of kind of growing a little bit bigger and having a loyal group is they kind of take care of some of that nonsense for you, but. Um, YouTube does have an awesome feature though, if they just get too much. If you can just hide a user, yeah. which is great because they still watch it, they can comment. No one knows they comment except for them. <laughs> They're the only one to watch. Is that how that works? <laughs> is that what that is? Jeremiah's like, now I know where I'm at. <laughs> He's sitting there talking to himself. Why <laughs> ain't nobody else feeding on I this? I mean, yeah. they, they bother Jenna bad. And I'm like, listen, you give these people a snapshot of your life. There is no way they have enough accurate information to have that strong of opinion, period. They're just, they're out there for one reason, just to be a dick. The only thing they know is what we let them know. Yeah, That's and um, sometimes, I'll tell you what, there's a few things I've got that really, uh, that really get them thinking or get them fired up. Like if they, like, you moron, you should have used a dozer. And I'll just reply back with, uh, please consider your thoughts on that. There's an obvious reason why I didn't. I'll be looking forward to hearing back soon. <laughs> you know, you know that person on the other end of the screen sitting there going, "Oh shit, what the hell did I miss?" <laughs> some for some reason, or, I don't like, know what they are. I'll post a video and they'll be like, "You moron, why didn't you do this?" And I'll say, "Well, you should have watched two videos ago. Two videos ago has nothing to do with what I'm doing in this video." <laughs> but by golly, I just got a free view out of them. You got another view, didn't you? You got another view. You know what I mean? Three or four times. <laughs> So do you get a question over and over and over again? Or what's your most commonly asked question, I guess? Do you see it? You're going to finish the boat? The boat? How's the mirror looking? How's the mirror? Oh, you know, the mirror jokes are funny. And I don't, they don't bother me. Yeah. But it is annoyed at this point. It's like, come on, something new. Yeah. You know, get some new. Sorry, material. Captain. Sorry. If I watch the same comedian five times and it was the same bit every time, I'd be like, this is disappointing. You know, I would like something new here. Well, good news. I bought you new mirrors. The, the biggest, honestly, the biggest comment that bothers me, Chris, is when somebody asks a question that was directly addressed in that video. Yeah. Yeah. That drives me crazy. It's like, I put all this time into it, mm -hmm. and money, all the equipment. Oh. You put all this effort into it, and you'll be like, and uh, I'm not going to take the cab off because, you know, the floor is not as bad as I thought. So just follow like, me exactly what I need to put on your car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went through that with a Barry <laughs> radio. Hit, you know, we, matter. We're going to tear down old barn. We spend the first 15 minutes of video explaining why we're, why we're tearing it down why we're going to burn yeah. it. Yeah. Every comment. Why, why'd you tear it down? Why you burn the beams? You burned the beams! <laughs> well, that's we what we told you to, why. Talking to Watch <laughs> West. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking to uh, Watch West work, that was his biggest pet peeve, too, is whenever you take the time to cover it in the video, but they still turn around and ask you the comments. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I've kind of taken his approach to it. I'm sorry, Pete. Right. Go ahead. We're good. What's up? You, I was just going to say, like, so like, you guys like read all of them, or just like... Oh, yeah. I read, so, um... He hasn't read mine yet. <laughs> um... Is that driving um, nuts? It does. All <laughs> the... <laughs> it's plenty of <laughs> So if you guys listen to the last podcast, you know I have somebody that helps me with some of this stuff. So if somebody does go through and read all my comments, if okay. you ask a question, or if there's something that needs my attention, that's me. Uh, if you get a generic heart, that may not be me, but somebody actually read that to make sure it didn't can need to come to me. I get so if I want to talk yeah, to you, I need to put. I get about uh, I get about seven thousand comments a week, and that I want to make sure, I want to make sure everybody knows that I appreciate that. Because um, a lot of our comments are just like great video, just right? Hard it, generic, hard it, and move on. Yeah, super generic, supportive comments. But if you yeah, ask man, if you cool. ask a question and I respond, that's me. Okay. That's me. Um, I just, so many of these big channels, um, it just, the comments get lost. And uh, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep that up because it continues to grow, but I do. I mean, it's honestly why I, I wish it was me reading every last one. I just don't have the time for it no more, but I want to make sure those people that do ask questions or those people that I can help or address, I can at least find them. And that's my way of finding them as, as Katie goes through and kind of filters through them and hearts the ones that are generic, which uh, I appreciate every comment you guys get, so don't quit commenting. 
But if you guys ask a question or if it's something she don't know or she's some, it's something that she thinks I need to see, uh, she can sort those out and then I, I go through. I usually probably go through 1,500 comments a week myself somewhere in that neighborhood. Mm. Uh, now, I do not monitor Facebook and Instagram comments. That's another girl. I'll be honest with you on that. Um, every once in a while, I'll jump on there and get in the comment section on Facebook and Instagram, but I focus a lot of my time on YouTube. I don't want to discredit you, Captain, either, but with your job, you've got a few minutes to read comments. Oh, I would I would never do YouTube on jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I sure bet he wish he did, though. <laughs> But the people that understand, no, understand. Your video today you put up, you're cleaning out this toolbox. Yeah. And you I'm find thinking, a can opener hold on, in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on just stop. <laughs> so I got this. I got two mentions in my head. One is him in Vegas on the bed talking to the wall. <laughs> and the other one, and the other one is your sound studio at the other job that you used to talk about. <laughs> Yes, there are some places that are very echoey, and you just have to put a blanket over your head to make sure you get this. In a closet that holds cleaning supplies. <laughs> this is hypothetical. This is all completely hypothetical. Yeah. yeah. So, I did, sorry, I just see this side by side of these two scenarios, but I had to laugh. Well, no, right. hold on, you covered one. What, what happened in Vegas? There's oh. a. Oh, this is a different podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, clear, they're running together. First time I went down to Vegas for Con Expo doing YouTube. Yeah. Was yeah. Chris and I room together. And I was trying to scramble videos out while I was down there. Because if you're going to make a Con Expo video, you got to get it out while you're down there. It's going to be good. Um, so I was down there and I was doing voiceovers. and I was doing. We like, sit in the room. Yeah, you're doing yeah, voiceovers. In Chris is in there, three or four or five takes. And I turn around and Chris is facing the wall. At some point while I was doing this voiceovers, he sat up and turned around and faced the wall to try to make me more comfortable. So I wasn't stare. <laughs> he goes, what are you doing? Do your thing. I'm just over here recording. I'm just your friend. I'll tell you I what. Know, I, I thought, man, well, I'm making him nervous. He's messing up. Yeah. Well, he thinks I'm sitting there watching him on his back. <laughs> was he really making you nervous? You just messed up that much. No. I, he just no. tried to give a ride. He's just being natural. Yeah. Yeah. So today's video, you're cleaning out that toolbox. Yeah. And I kept waiting for a fork or spoon to pop up out of that toolbox, and there was a can opener in there. You made that comment. It was like, how did I not plant a spoon? I know. How did I not <laughs> think of that. It well, because YouTube's 100% yeah. natural. Have we ever told this story on camera? I know we've told bits and pieces of it. The origin? Yeah. Well, we were working for Derby. Well, we were working for, actually, for a local house right here in Derby. The, well, actually, we both of us had videos on back at that house cleaning, this, this is true. cleaning this is true. the logging trails of the dome. This is true. We were pressure washing a roof off. No, the, um, <laughs> no, you guys are yes or no. You, you no, I, I, I got the note. The tree <laughs> fell on the house and we were replacing roof panels. Remember the middle section of the roof? No, I remember. We replaced the middle section yeah. and then... Oh, we, we did had the pressure outside wash. the box thought. Oh, we need to write that one down. After, if we, if we pressure wash the roof, the panels would match better. Yes, because they didn't match very well. You're right. You know what matched after that? All the dents from us falling on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you were talking to the homeowner, and you. Were I was rolling the magnet around. Rolling the magnet around, talking to the homeowner. And he said, you ever find anything cool with that thing? He said, oh, yeah, all kinds of things. Spoons and forks. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And me and Mike Jarborough were just looking at each other like, when has he ever found any silverware with this magnet? <laughs> <laughs> so now anytime you find a spooner fork or anytime you pick up the one you dropped, <laughs> you found, for like the next 10 years, you send me a picture. Like, yeah, look what I found. I bet you in the three years we didn't talk to each other, he got like four text messages of a random utensil. <laughs> <laughs> it was our only communication. I like, can verify the one in Branchville when he tore down that garage. There was a door shut and a fork holding a instead of a lock, and there was a fork shoved in. <laughs> I, I don't think I don't. I know I've never planted one. Everyone I've found is on the job. Drops it. Yeah, Where did my fork go? That's what they said. Found one. Yeah. <laughs> Comment oh, generator. It's just like yeah. anything else, though. If you start looking for it, you'll eventually yeah. find yeah. it. You know what I mean? Have yeah, you, you should have planted a, a fork or spoon that to a yeah. box. <laughs> have you so built your comment generator yet? <laughs> I've not built my comment generator. I talked, I was just going to get like a pool start, put on a box that says comment generator. <laughs> and it's be like a two-second clip, which, you know. 
Well, you know, you want to talk about comment generation? It's like I was telling you, like, I'm on eBay right now shopping for non-working DeWalt impacts because people lose their mind when I tap things with the backs on my impact. It's like, well, I'm going to get some non-working impacts and just beat the heck out of them <laughs> until plastic starts flying off, you know? <laughs> A great idea. It's funny how like <laughs> commenters on <laughs> your channel, which are hobbyist, I'm gonna call your viewers more of a hobbyist, hobbyist audience than mine. Probably are tractor time with Tim that are way more YouTube educated than real life educated. Mm -hmm. I'm not disgracing it. I'm not talking down about any of your people. Versus, I feel like people watch my channel more. I feel like you are. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I feel like him treat your people like it. I'm not being condescending. Well, I, That's a I, word that means to talk down on YouTube. I'm trying to go somewhere with this. <laughs> Mark, no one asked for your opinion. I'm gonna leave it I there. feel like my audience is a little more professional. <laughs> Not in they're really? more professional, but they're more they, they got more on the job experience. Let's Have you that. read through your comment section? <laughs> but he can do stuff like beat with his use his impact as a hammer and he'll get a hundred comments. I can do it, I'll get two. He can I, he can use his chainsaw without chaps and they'll blow his section up. I do it, nobody gives a shit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they like him more. So, yeah, these are safety living. violations they're talking about. Yeah, I just, I, I, it's it's different. It's kind of weird how it's a little bit different because I've had this same conversation with Tractor Time with Tim with his little tractors. Like, they just blow him up on the smallest little things. Tim, your tractors are nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, they're very large. <laughs> yeah, uh, you have a very average size And It has no traction. <laughs> <laughs> But they'll, they'll totally ridicule him on the smallest little thing. And <laughs> Tim, we're blowing this balloon out of abortion. Before you know it, Nicholas over here is going to blow it out of the sky. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're, so a lot of people on your channel are operators. They're right. They, under, they understand the so day to day of what are. we do. Yeah. They say they are. They say they are. Yeah. yeah. Um, you want to cover the um, birthday present? Captain, yes, yes, has presented you at your surprise birthday. So this will go into comment generation. It's in so the bathroom, you'll see it. Uh, what I figured out pretty early on. We're really looking Why forward to there? it. I don't know. No, you, you it's in the bathroom. <laughs> it's in the bathroom, and if you pull this lever, it goes up and down. Sign me up. <laughs> you gotta make sure you're standing just it right to get it to work. Are you gonna leave? Paul's got a wet spot. Yeah. What the hell? I wasn't going. <laughs> I still like remember Todd from Trucker Track. <laughs> he comes up here, he goes pee, he comes out. We're in the middle of filming something on Lieutenant Dan. Like we're in the full middle of a of a paragraph. He stops looking because what the fuck's in your bathroom? <laughs> really? <laughs> Do I have to fix that one? No. Okay. Really? Sorry. Okay. We, ever since Jen has been on the podcast, we are no longer PG thirteen. Oh, yeah. oh, if you ever meet me. I don't know how you come up with the idea of <laughs> present. It is hilarious. There's a, video, there's a video on your channel, right? There's there's a TikTok. Is there's there a TikTok, TikTok on it? TikTok. Really? Uh, it's been on my channel randomly in a few different videos. I think the 40th birthday. Not video many people video in the bathroom. So no. I don't see them very often. <laughs> but, uh, their channel. Yeah. 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 That's, for, so, that's for the uh, the Dirt Perfect only fans. The market has not been tapped yet. Yeah. <laughs> Pull the lever to mind. <laughs> <laughs> His yeah. podcast has changed. <laughs> that, was a, that was a fun creation. You'll have to come around more often. <laughs> I don't know if I want so to. So for my 40th birthday, Cleveland didn't want me to hurt myself, so he built me an attaboy. So if you move the little lever, it pat yourself on the back. So the glove will pat him on the back. <laughs> yeah, you know. yeah. But he, I'm pretty sure he used my woods, my nuts and bolts, and my welding gloves. <laughs> I did. I stole your welding gloves. <laughs> the best thing was the speech that he gave about it, though. Yeah. <laughs> he, he had it wrapped up in a towel because he ran out of wrapping paper. Or <laughs> he couldn't get through the speech without laughing. <laughs> yeah. There was a heavy wheezing. It was a good. Oh god, that was a good. I was in tears. But it was just like it was just like dressing up. In the summer for winter, it's just I walked out the door. I was like, "This would be funny. <laughs> this would be funny." <laughs> Chelsea's like, "I need you to be like, no way. I, I gotta, I gotta follow the I got something in my head. I can't let it get away." Have you seen an axe handle anywhere? I'll find one. Never mind. <laughs> 
Oh, man. It's I can't a, believe we got two surprise birthday parties over on DP. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very impressive. Very impressive. Which was the first one? Patio. At the patio. Oh, yeah. And then the following night up here at the rental house. Yeah, I remember that one. Obviously, you guys didn't tell Wade till the day of. <laughs> yeah. You know, yesterday was his birthday. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess Wade's it was. Birthday? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Well, it's always next. We're close well, neighbors, ain't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wish Wade happy birthday. Do it again, the whole other year. <laughs> I thought for sure that was your last one. <laughs> I just lost a bit. Did you be pretend to be dead for like six months? Like, play? no, I'm kidding. We got a guy in the station. He's like, any day over fifty, every day over fifty is a blessing. And like, one of our older guys walked through. He's like, hey, you made it. <laughs> 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 oh man! All right, well, are we gonna wrap this one up, or I feel like we can go all night long. Are we done? I, don't know. I think this is great. <laughs> Sean over here started to yawn. So. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Our special guest has only been like his nose and ears have been in the video the whole time. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we finally got our most requested guest of all time on. We're definitely gonna need to. Um, Definitely going to have you back, Captain. Yeah, because I got a lot more stories. Uh, we, I was going to say, I'm sitting here running through my head, and I don't think we even... We skipped some... <laughs> we, yeah. skipped, we skipped a yeah. lot of stuff. <laughs> we skipped a lot of stuff. There's definitely time for more. And we need to get Bernie on. Yes. We need to... Uh, Absolutely. We need, definitely need to get Bernie on. That'll be... Uh, I think he'd like it. I think he'd have Oh, uh, he would. He would. Once he got in here and got comfortable, and if he's with me and you, I'm trying to thank you else we, from our past, that'd be... Maybe one of these days we'll have to venture into Clint or somebody. This is was a random side story. I went to Butler's two days ago to the dentist. Yeah. And she pulled floss out and started flossing. I was like, you know, that's not the only thing you can use that for. Your ceiling grid. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, uses, is, Bernie uses dill floss as a string line when he hangs ceiling grid. Really? More precise because it's thinner. Really? Can't see it. <laughs> she was both, not impressed. She was you not are, impressed. Both people use laser. If you walk you around know. on stilts, you get close lines. But <laughs> <laughs> Is it that strong? Yeah. yeah. It's surprising. You'd be impressed. Yeah. The tinsel yep. strike the floss. <laughs> yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll draw blood. <laughs> I mean, my I think my favorite that. story that I remember in a long time with Bernie is the is the Josh Clarkson which was something changed from here to the parking lot. That was a good one. The uh, cut me a nine foot hole for a double door in the back of the new shop, or a six foot hole, and then Ryan cuts a sixteen foot hole because he doesn't hurt it. <laughs> <laughs> and Bernie's like, "Well, let's just add on." <laughs> <laughs> which worked out great because he drove the mini excavator straight inside the building to rip the floor out. <laughs> had this big hole in the back. Yeah. Yeah, demo the inside of the building with the mini. The old one. Oh, a six foot hole and got a sixteen foot hole. Yep. Oh wow! Yep. There was uh, he. It, there was just one day we were roofing and it was hotter than I don't know what blue blazes. He had this great idea to put sprinklers on our scaffolding to keep us cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a slip and slide up there, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Working a downpour. Yeah, well, it was like the fog mister, so oh. but it was like an eight eight twelve pitch roof. <laughs> the, tra the 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 loss of friction was not considered into the equation. <laughs> the song, come with me, and you'll see an ocean violation. That was uh, then like two weeks before that we had he always used to have these safety meetings in the morning. It was about heat exhaustion. We were working on this house at the back of the subdivision, and this was this was before your time. You weren't even there yet. It was another. I, I was actually in his position. I was the helper, and uh, we talked about heat exhaustion. He was the assistant. No, he wasn't even. He was still in high school. He was the assistant to the manager. <laughs> no, I mean, but, but you weren't in his position because he was the assistant. I was the gopher. Whatever. <laughs> I was low man on the totem pole on this one. We had this whole big safety meeting about heat stroke. If you start feeling clammy and all that stuff, you should lay down on the ground and take all your clothes off. So we're in this high-end high subdivision over in Kentucky. We're at the house in the very back. And we're up on this roof, but you can see the front gate. And Bernie's bringing our paychecks over, all right? So it was uh, Ian and Nick and a few other ones. They were These guys are crazy. Nick Harris? No, uh, Nick Kratzer. Our Nick Cravens and uh, Clinton Effer and Louis Anderson. They were all gone when I got there. Yeah, they were all gone. So let's wait for his time. So we're all up on there. And at Cravens hollers, 
hit the deck and get naked. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> they see Bernie coming in the front gate, so by the time he got back to us, we're all laying in the front yard of underwear going around. I am like, we're crazy. <laughs> 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 so Bernie pulls up, and he's, I wouldn't say Bernie was a big practical joker type guy. <laughs> Like he literally just throws his throws the checks out on the ground and leaves. So, <laughs> like, when it takes safety serious, Bernie, you know. <laughs> and then Jim Adams, which you gotta know Jim Adams. Oh. He comes by like two days later with ice cream and like chucks it out the like, Come off, you fuckers! <laughs> 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 throws it out the window. Oh. We go on with Jim Adams stories forever too. Alright, we can do a whole other podcast on Bernie stories. Uh, see you around if you don't go square. <laughs> yeah, get him here. We need, to we get need him. to get Bernie on here. Hopefully, is Jim Adams the same one I know of? Yeah, oh, uh, ex mayor of Tulsa. Yeah, we uh, worked with Jim for I worked with Jim for five years. Really? I can tell you some Jim stories that'll blow your mind. Somebody that went out to the winery. And he goes, "Man, I met your old boss." I said, "My old boss?" He goes, "Yeah, Jim Adams." Nope. I said, "That was that was." That's not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> not accurate. <laughs> all right, Jason, shut us down before we go all night. All right. Appreciate everybody watching or listening, whatever they're doing on this one. What time do we start the podcast? <laughs> what time did we? Or how long are we going? Yeah. Hour and 25 minutes. That's a long time. Oh, wow. I've been waiting to eat this popcorn the whole Charlie's <laughs> Charlie's wasn't eating popcorn over there. <laughs> <laughs> staring at it. <laughs> no, they're pretty good.